Ladies, ladies, we are here on the show. Everybody hold your, hold on. Everybody hold your houses. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to get this show here. We are here tonight underwear. And tonight, oh my Lord. So I want to talk about the Cleveland, the, the, the Cleveland, um, what they want to do now in the NFL. They want to hire a girl, some old lady who used to be the uh, state secretary for I don't even know what. Um, what's her name? Let me let, let me let me get her name right here. Um, hold on. According to my calculations, her name is Condoralia. Condoralia. Her name is Condoralia Rice. This girl has no football experience. WTF are you talking about? Like, what the hell? Like, I don't care if it's a girl or a man. Why are you hiring a secretary of state or a former secretary of state to be an NFL head coach? Like, I don't understand. Like, do they think she's very responsible, very strict? You need to, excuse me. You need to know the football. Right now, I, th I just said it last night. And I know this shit came out a while ago, but I hadn't had time. But I said it last night, you know. Right now, what's winning in the NFL? Good head coaching and a franchise quarterback. Chiefs, Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes. Saints, Sean Payton, Drew Brees. Um, Rams, uh, Sean McVay, Jerry Goff. That is what's winning in the NFL right now. You need a, 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 a very good coach and a franchise quarterback. I'm not sure Maker Mayfield is a franchise quarterback just yet. He still has to continue to show me. And what, like, out of all the coaches you can hire, you're going to hire this former Secretary of State, Kendarell Lisa Rice. I apologize if I'm not saying her name right. But are you serious right now? Are you shitting me? WTF. Like, like I said, I don't care if it's a girl or a guy. You don't hire a former secretary of state who has zero football experience to be your head coach. Especially of a team like the Cleveland Browns who have sucked more ass than Tiger Woods has had when he cheated on his wife. Like, they need to bring in somebody. Like, I was thinking Lincoln Riley, the head coach of the Sooners in college football. That's probably the next up-and-coming guy. You know, of Nerve Turner. Now, I don't know if Nerve Turner wants to get into that mass. Um, I don't think so. He was actually already there, I think, once as an offensive coordinator, and he didn't do too good either. Um, I don't know who the hell you want to hire. I'm sure, you know, there's always somebody, you know, two years ago with Sean McVay, Last year, it was Matt Nagy, you know, there'll be some young offensive coordinator this year, maybe Josh McDaniels, I don't think Josh McDaniels is going to leave New England for that, but there is Lincoln Riley, like, I just, there is options, and you're going to hire a person, Kendall Alyssa Rice, who has zero NFL experience as a coach, I don't care if it's a woman or a man. She, he or she does not have any experience in the NFL. Why don't you hire me? Like, simple as that. Like, you you need to... Do they not see what's going on? How the NFL is right now? If you don't have a head coach, like, if you don't have a head coach, you're not that good in the NFL right now. Coaching matters more than anything right now in the NFL. If this is not the major leagues where... You just fucking plug in nine all stars and and, and, and and have a you know and and have and have three all star pitchers. Put them in certain rotation. You have an all star closer, and you're gonna win a World Series. No, or basketball where you get two superstars. You know, like Miami Heat, um, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, and they win you two straight championships. No, in the NFL, you have got to be coach. You have got to have game plans. You have got to be able to adjust. You have got to be creative in this league. Shh. Matt Nagy? Oh, my Lord. Mitchell Trubisky sucks more ass than Tiger Woods when he had his affairs. Oh, yes. Then look at those stats. He didn't even throw for 200 yards. Matt Nagy got creative in that game. Matt Nagy installed the game plan. He knows what he has, and he's getting the most out of he has out of Mitchell Trubisky. 
He, I think he only had 160, what, seven yards, whatever it was. He didn't need, Mitchell Trubisky didn't even throw, throw for 200 yards. And Matt Nagy still found a way to put up 25 points. That's what you need in this league right now. Sean McVay, same thing. Jared Goff was a turnover machine, an interception machine in um, California in college football. He struggled that first year with Jeff Fisher. What did Sean McVay do? Get creative, find a way to put him in to be successful, and look at Sean McVay now. Last night, four touchdowns, zero interceptions, got a big W. Now they are the second best team in the NFL. You need coaches like that. Andy Reid has gotten graded for years, not just with Patrick Mahomes, Michael Vick, Donovan McNabb, Alex Smith, you know, um, uh, Bill Belichick, adjusting, adjusting to losing players, bringing in the new kids every year, new wide receiver for Tommy. Forget about the offense, the defense every year. Well, Nano lately hasn't been that good, but he's still, okay, if you look at this Patriots defense, it's not that good anymore. But they still want to start driving around the 25-15. They do stop you, and they make you kick field goals. So, like this person, like woman or man, is going to come in just because it's a sec state secretary. Like, are you shitting me? That's taking a shit on all the former uncaring NFL coaches. Like, are you shitting me? Come on. You need to have experience, especially the way the league is right now. I'm sorry. This is this is not even for Cleveland Browns. This is, this is low. This, this is lower than this is super low. This is super. This is lower than um than than, than a well shedding. You know, well shit. This is this is super low. This is lower than well shit. Super low. Low, low, low. Unbelievable. Even Cleveland Browns should be ashamed of themselves. I cannot believe this is, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I have, I'm sure this lady's a very smart lady, Candarella um, Rice, whatever her name is, and she even said it. I understand you want to bring the ladies into the game of football. I understand that. Last year, a lady interviewed for the Milwaukee Bucks um, coaching, you know, this going to happen at some point, but at least last year when that lady interviewed for the Milwaukee but she had, she's been an assistant for a while. She's a former player in the WNBA. And for the last three years, she's been an assistant with San Antonio. She's learning under Greg Popovich. She's got experience. This Candarella, Cinderella, Rice girl, whatever the hell her name is, has zero experience in the NFL. This is horseshit, horseshit, horseshit. This is taking a shit on all the current and former coaches. WTF, are you thinking? Like, seriously, I'm all for bringing the ladies in. I trust me, I am, I am. But have them have some type of experience. That girl, Becky Hammer, I think her name is, Hammy, whatever, she's getting experience these last two years as an assistant for Greg Popovich. So she will be ready when she does get hired. She's qualified. The last few years, I think this year she's even like the... First or second assistant, like she's almost like the assistant head coach now. She's really moving up the ladder as he end up um Greg Popovich um assistant tree. Like I, I think she got promoted. She's almost like the um head uh, assistant head coach now. She's very close and she deserves it. But damn it, like you gotta earn it. This Ken, Cinderella, 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 Rachel, whatever her name is, Rice. Like, what has she done? She's been a Secretary of State. Like, like, what are the Cleveland Browns doing? Like, I, what are they thinking? I think the Cleveland Browns should be drug tested ASAP. I, I, I thought it was the owner. I thought it was the front office, the management, the head coach. It's the owner. The owner has got to be drug tested. Carson Wentz, now Ben Roethlisberger, 15 years ago. Well, we don't want him. Carson Wentz, two years ago. No, we don't want him. Last year, Deshaun Watson. Patrick Mahomes, we don't want him. Like, what the hell's going on? This year, they skipped on, um, uh, like, who, who, who was it that they skipped on? Um, uh, Bradley Chubb? I understand, okay, you, you thought Baker Mayfield was a better quarterback than Sam Darnold or Josh Rosen, whatever. Josh Allen, um, 
you know, whatever. But you skipped on um, Bradley Chubb without question the best defensive lineman in this draft. Oh my lord. I, 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 I don't know anymore what to say tonight on this. I really don't. It is horseshit on horseshit. I, I'm all in for the ladies, but you have to have experience like Becky Ham has getting experience under Greg Popovich these last few years as an assistant. She'll be a future head coach most likely, but she's getting, she's learning. This Cinderella Rice is not learning. And she will come into the league and be an assistant, slowly work herself up. Maybe comes in as, I don't know, maybe the running back coach. Then you give her offensive coordinator. Then maybe you, then maybe, okay, you can hire, okay, but you know what I mean? Just stupid, stupid, stupid shit. All right, I just cannot believe it. It is horseshit, horseshit, horseshit. I want to thank all of you, the fans. I want to thank Frankie Rodriguez. I want to thank Harrison. I want to thank, um, Chevy, um, Chicken Legs. Um, uh, who else? A lot of you, a lot of you I want to thank for tonight. Tonight, the live stream could have sucked more ass than Tiger Woods when he cheated on his wife. But for three hours, we came in there. Fernando, you too, although you you, you, you didn't know whether to share on your watch at the beginning. Shout out to all of you. There was not really a game tonight. We invaded, I basically just turned the camera on. And for three hours, we shot the shit. And we have, I think we have 13 likes, 61 views. Pat your ass on the back. Pat your ass on the back. All of you, Frank, Fernando, Harrison, Chevy, Gaming to their 57, Chicken Legs. All of you, pat your ass on the ass. Give yourself a pat on the ass. Um, because you guys carry me tonight on the channel. I didn't know whether to share on my watch. Literally five, ten minutes before I went live, I looked and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's no games tonight. What am I going to do? And you guys all carry me. I thank you for that. Thank you, all of you. Um, tomorrow, there will be a game. But I own you guys. Gaming, Gaming to the 57. Frankie um, Rodriguez. Chicken Lex. Harrison. Fernando. Chevy. All of you. you. You guys, pat your ass on the back. Thank you to all of you. The fans. Successful ice cream. Where it could have been sucked more than Tiger Woods when he cheated on his wife. 61 views. 13 likes. Thank you to all of you, the fans. Abby the Berchi. What the hell is happening? Later.